Uram Sports in the Hizzy, talking some NFL. So I'm giving you my uh, four top four players around Mount Rushmore for the Steelers and Jets. Yeah, what's up? Uram Sports, Pittsburgh Steelers. So if I have to do the Mount Rushmore, the four horsemen of Pittsburgh Steelers, not including a coach, just players. You got to go with Terry Bradshaw. That's my quarterback, okay? Uh, of course, me and Joe Green. <sighs> Franco Harris. And as much as I live, love Lynn Swan and Jack Lambert, Mike Webster, Stalwart. I mean, so many people, right? You got to go with the modern team. And, uh, you know, two championships, Big Ben Roethlisberger. So Terry Bradshaw, Big Ben, Mean Joe Green. And Franco Harris. Sorry, I had a delay because I was like, Lynn Swan. But Franco, the Immaculate Reception. All right. Steelers Nation, stand up, baby. Let's go. 10 and 6 this year, playoffs. We're back. That's if everyone's safe and we can play. All right. You rhyme sports in the building, yo. Peace. NFL talk. I got you. That's the Steelers, Mount Rushmore. All right. Peace. Yo, e Sports and the Hizzy. So I'm doing my NFL Mount Rushmore series for the players. First I did the Steelers. Now my second favorite team, the New York Jets. Yeah, a native New Yorker, Steeler fan first, then the Jets. And, uh, you know, definitely love the Giants, but also Tampa Bay Buccaneers. My father's from Tampa, so maybe I'll do the Giants and Buccaneers next. But when you think about the, the greatest Jets in history, the players, of course you got Joe Namath, the guarantee, the Super Bowl, the quarterback, number 12, Mr. Alabama, just, you know, Joe, Willie Joe, okay? Um, you know, there have been so many other great players, but I got to go with two defensive guys. And they both could be borderline Hall of Famers, and it's the sack exchange. Joe Klecko, who was a great D-tackle, and Mark Gassano, a great defensive end. These guys got sacks. They stopped the run. I remember the great game when they lost the AFC Championship to the Dolphins and A.J. Dewey. <clears throat> when the Dolphins went to the Super Bowl and lost to the Riggins and the Skins. Was that 83? Um, yeah, I mean, the Jets' defense was no joke back in the days. This is when the Jets were really good. Um, Ken O'Brien, a quarterback, but they couldn't get over the hump. So, Namath, Mark Gassano, Joe Klecko, and then... A little bit more Marvin. Um, he was a Patriot, but did most of his damage with the Jets. He's a Hall of Fame running back, and it's Curtis Martin. All right, from the University of Pittsburgh, Curtis Martin was the man with Bill Parcells, and just, you know, a great time with him being, um, sorry, adjusting for this new camera, uh, with the Jets. So, that's it, that's my, my Jets. Got my Steelers, you got my Jets, and uh, I think next episode we'll have to get to. We'll just do the Giants and Bucks, knock out my four favorite teams, and then we'll go from there. All right, E Rhyme Sports in the building, yo, catch the ill flow, the Jets, baby, bro. And hopefully one day we could revisit it and put in Sam Darnold. Maybe he'll lead the Jets to the Super Bowl. I could dream, right? <laughs> Tell it. Oh, man. I'm telling you. It's, it's something being a, a Jets and a Knicks fan, you know. It's been rough. My, my Yankees have done me well. But for New York, Jets and Knicks, their last titles were right before I was born, 69. All right? And then 73, I was too young with the Knicks. So, all right. You rhyme sports in the hizzy. Peace.
Yeah, look, Eram Sports, I gotta say this. Not that I messed up, but if I'm being honest, you gotta say honorable mention for the Steelers. Don't forget about Mel Blunt, Donnie Shell, but Troy Palomalu, probably top five best safety all time. And then for the New York Jets, Darrell Rivas, one of the top five cornerbacks of all time. But he did go win a chip with the Patriots. So I still like Klecko and Gastineau and the guys. And th same thing with the Steelers, you know, Franco, Big Ben, Terry, Mean Joe. But do not ever forget those guys. Troy Palomalu, Mel Blunt, and then, of course, with the Jets, uh, Darrell Rivas, you know what I mean? And uh, Lance Mel, linebacker. My man, Wesley Walker, who I interviewed on my show before. All right, so that's it. Steelers, Jets, Mount Rushmore. Eron Sports. But also, I just want to talk about some of the teams and, you know, what they've done in the NFL offseason and who's done really well. Um, I would say the Cardinals, obviously, with Josh Jones and Isaiah Simmons. Um, you know, the Denver Broncos did well. I thought the Baltimore Ravens and Buffalo Bills improved. Now, we're talking about free agency and draft. But, you know, with Buffalo, when you get Stephon Diggs, you're really getting serious help for Josh Allen. You know, and um, their offensive line, their defense gets better, you know, um, terms of their running game they're still improving and adding on you know the Bears getting Nick Foles as a help I didn't love their draft I thought the Panthers had a great uh draft um I thought they you know really improved and you know it's really about the defense because they've got sort of the weapons um and Teddy Bridgewater is is a big addition so let's see with him and Christian McCaffrey and, you know, what they can do with their defense. Maybe they're not in last place. Maybe they just climb ahead of Atlanta or, you know, I don't think they'll pass New Orleans or Tampa. But the Panthers could be, you know, definitely improve. Now the Bengals, you know, you get Joe Burrow. They still got a lot of work to do with that defense. Um but the Cleveland Browns, you know, when you bring in Jack Coughlin and, and then, you know, you have a solid draft, you got to believe that, you know, they're going to be in a better place, especially with Nick Chubb and Kareem Hunt. Austin Hooper added to Landry and Odell. Um, you know, when you think about the Cowboys, you know, yeah, it's great to get CeeDee Lamb, but you really had to replace Byron Jones and take care of the secondary. They still got to get things done with Dak. Um, you know, some of their later round picks were, were not bad at all. But I just don't think they are going to be as dynamic as they need to be. When the Eagles got, you know, Darius Slay and, you know, they got um, Rager, the receiver, you know, um, now the Broncos, the big question is, is Drew Locke going to be the real deal? You know, you don't know if, if he's legit, but, you know, when you add Jerry Judy, you've really, you know, improved that team so dramatically that you got to think, um, you know, the Broncos are going to be really something else. Now, the Packers should be upset. Aaron Rodgers should be upset. Uh, Packer Nation. Yeah, it's nice to get Jordan Love, but Rodgers still might be good for three, four more years. So to have an opportunity to get a stud wide receiver in the first round, that's a hard pill to swallow, um, you know, and... I don't know if their draft picks are enough to help to stop their weaknesses up the middle, the run game. Um, you know, the Texans. Look, and when you look at the off season, you, you gotta like the, the Titans getting a, a, a tackle to replace. Oh boy. But the, the top teams to me, Broncos, uh, Ravens, Buccaneers, Colts, 49ers, 
um, in terms of, you know, really improving. The Raiders did well. But when you get Phillip Rivers and then you bring in Jonathan Taylor, that's, uh, that's serious. Okay. So, um, you know, I like the Steelers getting the wide receiver they got. You know, I thought the Jaguars could have done better. And honestly, I think the Jaguars, Jaguars, Cardinals, Patriots should be signing Cam Newton. Um, so we'll see how that plays out in terms of really improving their team. And then the Chiefs getting Clyde Edwards Alaire was a perfect pick. I mean, and the Detroit Lions getting DeAndre Swift, that was a, a nice, solid move. Um, you know, the Raiders are banking on Henry uh, Suggs, um, Henry Ruggs the third, the speedster receiver, but you know, he he potentially could be a big deal. You know, and then the Chargers, let's see if their quarterback develops. You know, let's see <clears throat> if Justin Herbert is the real deal. Tyrod Taylor, I'll, I'll let him play six, eight games. And then if the young kid's ready, you got to go to him. Because you know what Tyrod is, and the Chargers have a great defense. Um, Tua to the Dolphins, I thought was huge. Their moves, getting Van on, um, Kyle Van on um, from the Patriots. Um, you know, they should do good. The Rams got a nice running back, um, you know, and Todd Gurley going to the Falcons, if he's healthy, you know, could help them. Um, and we'll see what happens. You know, I, I like the Vikings and, you know, making the moves that they made and they had a ton of draft picks. So let's see who sticks with the roster to help them improve. Um, I think overall, a lot of teams did well. I don't think the pay. I think the Patriots. Ron Spore is saying here the Patriots will not make the playoffs this year. How about that? The Jets got the offensive lineman Beckham. I thought that was a good move. Giants got a good offensive lineman. Um, you know, Saints have definitely improved. When you when you add uh, Emmanuel Sanders, you know that's exactly what you needed, right? Um, you know, but like I said, the Giants should should be helping their team. Um, and Daniel Jones has got to see if he can hold on to the ball this year, you know, and step up. The Jets have got to sign Jalen uh, Adams to a deal and um, see how that goes. Like I said, the Eagles, they, they definitely improved, you know. And um, my Steelers, Steelers got the wide receiver. They got another offensive lineman. They got Eric Ebron at tight end. That was a big move. So Big Ben should be geared up to go. And look, the 49ers getting ASUs, Brandon Ayuk, that was just a steal. Um, and then obviously another defensive lineman to work in their rotation. Seahawks always draft well. I think they're going to improve. They should bring back Clowney. Um, that that I'm sort of still surprised about. You know what Tampa Bay did. I mean, Gronk and, and, and <laughs> you know, bringing in Brady, uh, you know, re-signing uh, Shaq Barrett and, and, and Dominican Sue, you know, they, they're they gonna be tough. They're really gonna be tough. And you know, the Titans, they, they did what they needed to do. They added some offense, added some defense, the line. Um, and the Redskins, really, man. Chase Young, this could be, or I should say, the team from Washington. I hate that racist name. They need to get rid of it. But the Skins, man, Chase Young and that defensive line with him and Allen and all those first-rounders, they could be extremely dominant. So let's get ready for the NFL 2020 season. All right. Ron Sports. And how about those Steelers and Jets? Next up, we'll do the Giants and Buccaneers. My third and fourth favorite team, Bucks and Giants. Tampa Bay, that's where my dad's from. Peace.